Okie dokie, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on this fabulous Friday for what is going to be nothing short of another jam-packed daily cryptocurrency market update with yours truly. What a week it has been. A week ago today, we saw a rather weak non-farm payroll number and, of course, an uptick in unemployment. This ultimately caused people to start increasing their probabilities of a recession. Still not likely, in my opinion. We also don't think in our camp that a recession is in the short term. Remember, the S&P will rally two months into a recession so start to price in a recession two months prior so if you think a recession is two months or three months away then you're in the bear camp if you think it's longer out you're in the bull camp which is the camp we're in and we think crypto is going to be the best performer in that but friday we saw that take place then on monday we saw an unwind of the japanese yen carry trade so people carrying yen at zero percent interest rates over to other markets like the dixie which of course has a higher yield or perhaps the stock market which is going up Certainly, if you can borrow free money, the, 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 the um, Bank of Japan kind of came a financer for the world with their free yen. Um, and ultimately, with them strengthening that, we saw an unwinding people sort of taking back and, and moving it back east of um, that carry trade. And that ultimately had an effect on the markets. Of course, the Nikkei, by all accounts, crashed. Worst day ever, I think, for the Nikkei. Um, and then there was also, uh, again... Um, spill over into the sort of US markets, the UK markets, obviously the currency markets, and of course, crypto being the puny little weakling that it is, uh, really got pummeled as a result of it. You know, crypto is but a um, small part of the kind of macroeconomic landscape. It's going to become an ever bigger one uh, and, a, and a vital part of it, I believe, a revolutionizer of it. Um, but for now, it's, it, it's really that paper bag in the wind. So the good news is that that was what happened. Um, better news is that we saw, we had news from Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan that institutions absolutely bought that dip heavily. We also had news from Richard Tang, the CEO of Binance, that there was a almost record inflow in regards to dollars going into Binance. Very high volume in regards to year-to-date volume, one of the highest days, uh, kind of indicating that people are also buying that dip. We're seeing ETF inflows start to pick up. Um, and ultimately, we're seeing a very speedy recovery for the cryptocurrency space, up 23% since Monday's low. And we're going to be starting the video off by looking at Bitcoin Uh, Then we're going to be diving into the fact that we have some executives going over to the White House today. We're going to be hearing from Russia as they've just legalized Bitcoin and crypto mining. Then we're going to be looking at some news from Turkey. Turkey is somewhere that could really benefit from crypto. In fact, used cars are an investment, a good investment in Turkey um, because of the inflation that they're seeing. And and we've spoken about the role of stable coins and and, and crypto more broadly and how it can really help um, the people of Turkey. Uh, I truly do believe that anybody that's familiar with uh, people that are from Turkey or, or know have family over there ask them about used cars you know cars are like almost like better than buying gold over in turkey at the moment um and then we're going to be talking about some broader macro stuff because we don't think a recession is here we had news yesterday in regards to unemployment claims coming out weaker than expected we'll be looking at the spy and then we're going to be finishing things off on canadian taxes and why are we showing this well because people are now paying more in taxes in canada than they are food, housing, and clothing combined. And is that fair? I don't believe it is. uh, And I don't believe it's for your benefit. I don't believe the taxes that they take off you are for your benefit. I think they're for your impoverishment. To keep everybody uh, busy enough to not stick their head above the pulpit and start to question what is really going on here. But a brief comment on that we shall make. Let's dive into the video, ladies and gentlemen, on this fantastic Friday. And let's start things off with a beautiful monthly chart. This is from David Cox. The monthly Bitcoin chart, BTC USD, makes all claims, suggestions, or conclusions that it has plummeted or crashed look nonsensical and, quite frankly, inaccurate. And we do agree. So, when you look at it on a monthly chart, it really doesn't look that bad. When you look at it on, certainly, the daily, you're still in this broadening sort of channel. Ultimately, sometimes markets need to go down in order to go up. Yes, Bitcoin having a bit of a pullback today, as we have seen... That CME gap closed. CME gaps, I think, have more weight than people expect. You can see CME gap closed. Bit of a pullback. It's also at the midpoint of our uh, broadening wedge. You can see very uh, common level to sort of resist. But ultimately, this is just in a pullback, a descending pullback in the manner that you get pullbacks in an uptrend, not ascending, topping, uh, in what is a broader uptrend. And and we are very much on that route to 151K. You know, we bumped into all-time highs. You should always have expected resistance there. We're getting a beautiful textbook pullback that's ultimately going to lead to upside continuation, in my opinion. We're yet to really see an alt season. Today, we have news that crypto crypto executives meet White House officials to discuss policy grievances during a virtual roundtable. There's lots of individuals uh, attending this, like the Deputy Secretary the of the Treasury, 
the National Economic Council director, um, the White House deputy chief of staff, and Vice President, of course, Harris. We mentioned Harris for crypto yesterday, uh, and lots of people were getting very uh, upset about that. Um, we've also mentioned Trump lots of times. You know, I don't care what side of the spectrum you sit on. Uh, all I care is about really the ramifications um, that this has for crypto. And I ultimately think politicians using crypto um, as a endeavor to get elected is a is bullish for the industry. Uh, certainly if they stick to some of the promises that they are now making. So this is cool. I think Brad Garlinghouse is amongst these individuals. So yeah, Brad Garlinghouse, we've got Uniswap's Hayden Adams. Remember, the SEC is currently suing Uniswap. We've got Daniel Dixon from the Stellar Foundation. We've got Jeremy Allaire, who, of course, is Circle CEO and billionaire Mark Cuban. Not sure what the hell he's doing there, by the way. Um, we've got Paul Grewal and we've got um, Anthony. I can never say his second name, guys. Um, Scaramucci. Scaramucci. That's definitely not right. Um, but it's going to be extremely interesting to see what comes out of this. Of course, this took place yesterday. I'm sure we'll get news on it probably later on this week. Um, interestingly, President Putin signs law legalizing Bitcoin and crypto mining in Russia. Still banned over in China, but we'll see what the ramifications of all this are. And we have news that Turkey sees surging crypto licenses, applications amid new regula regulations. So Turkey's crypto economy is poised for growth as local and international companies show keen interest ahead of new legislation. A new law sparked interest. The wave of applications follows the implementation of a law on amendments to the capital markets, which came into effect on July the 2nd. This law aims to provide a regulatory framework for crypto asset services provided in Turkey. Now, this is huge. Um, I have a barber. Yes, I do go to the barbers, guys. Uh, despite, I mean, it's probably taking the mick a little bit, really, charging me to, to, to cut my hair. Um, but I always talk to him. Uh, you know, he's got family back home. We have lots of Turkish barbers in the UK, uh, and they're good at it. Um, and I always talk to him about, you know, the economic situation in Turkey. Obviously, as someone that's, that, that follows the FX markets, obviously knows the situation with the lira. 60% interest right now over in Turkey. And uh, one thing that we talk about and we joke about setting up a car business where we drive cars over to Turkey. Um, used cars here is like a Ford Fiesta or something like that. It's probably worth way more or is worth way more over in Turkey than what you can get it in the UK. Uh, and actually cars almost play like an investment role over there in some cases in the sense that you can buy a car and it's, it's, it's a better investment than owning stocks in regards to appreciation in Turkish lira or, or things like uh, perhaps gold. You know, they go up massively. Um, so somewhere like Turkey really could benefit along with many of the countries around the world in regards to crypto. And it's just one thing that crypto is kind of uh, solving um, and, and, and in, enriching people's lives uh, in, 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 in doing that. So a little bit of an interesting one for you there, a bit of a personal take on, on, on it all as well. Yesterday, we had unemployment claims. The expectations on this were 241,000. The prior one was 250,000. We had 233,000. So still quite high, but less than expected. Just like we had less than expected with uh, jobs added, we have less than expected unemployment claims, which is slightly better. We looked at the unemployment statistics, how hurricane likely had a lot to do with it, lots of revisions, and it actually isn't as bad as people think it is. Um, so we had revised GDPs, we had ISMs, all coming out and showing no signs of a recession. Um, and until we see reason, just like with inflation, until we see that resurgence, we're not in the inflationary second wave, ding dong along uh, camp, essentially, that, that many people were in. So... Weekly jobless claims fall to 233,000, less than expected in a positive sign for the labor market. Um, stock market futures, which had been negative earlier, turned sharply positive after the release. Talking about the stock market. So there was lots of gaps that were caused that you've now, of course, filled with uh, obviously Monday's yen unwind. And if that is just a problem, then that's not a bad thing. There's still plenty of distance between these highs i'm not seeing topping structure for the s p yet still bullish on tesla guys albeit a bit more of a pain in the backside than i thought it was going to be obviously we still got those higher targets for emmy zone albeit a brutal pullback i think this is going to be a sharp steep recovery and actually um often when you get these it's a great sign i think there still could be a little bit of chop but ultimately you're going to come out the other side of it um again i think bitcoin really just pulling back Lastly, probably because it's filled the CME gap and people going, okay, now we've closed that. We can take that trade off the table. Let's talk about Canada. So Canadians now paying more in taxes than food, housing, and clothing combined. There's a bit of a rant from me now, guys. So this is the stat. This is taxes. Shelter, food, and clothing. People are paying more in Canada to their government 
that is supposed to be a subservient of them than they do for food, clothing, and shelter. Something very wrong with that picture. And it's all designed, just like the destruction of your currency is designed to impoverish you. Inflation is a tax, a secret tax. Well, it's not really a secret now. The, the genie's out of the bottle, so to speak. And then, so they, they diminish you through inflation, and then they take you know your money off you. Um, and why? What do they provide you? Certainly in the UK right now, people are asking that question entirely. And I don't want to go too much uh, deeper down that rabbit hole, but we like to always throw these kind of things in to sort of ask people to question or to hopefully provoke people to question what's going on, what the meaning of life is. No, I'm joking. Uh, things like that, um, because it, 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 it's not a, it doesn't make me very happy seeing stats like that, certainly for my brethren, brothers and sisters over in Canada um, that are suffering at the hands of their uh, government. Um, and we're not afraid to say it. So that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like a bit more of a positive time for the crypto space. Of course, pulling back a little bit today, but generally we are in the right direction. We think the economy is in good standing and everything else. That's it from me, guys. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.